All right, here we have an image, and if I scroll down, you can see that we have this image cropped a few times. The full image is still there, but it's sitting inside an element with overflow set to auto. Here's the default touch action behavior with nothing set. You can see I can move side to side and up and down through the photo, so I can freely move in both axes. For the second example, I've just added the touch pan X utility, so you can see that it sets touch action to pan X. In this scenario, I can only move the image on the X axis from left to right. If I try to go up and down, you can see that nothing happens. It only wants to allow me to move from left to right on the X axis. The next example has the touch pan Y utility class applied. Moving on the X axis does nothing, but I'm allowed to move on the Y axis. Here's one more example with the touch none utility applied. The X axis doesn't do anything and the Y axis doesn't do anything either because we've set it to touch action none.